So the first thing that you would need to do if you want to submit data to Pangea is, of course, to open our web page. Um, and on the very first landing page, you can see this button that's called Submit Data. And when you click on it, there is a really nice overview page. So first of all, it tells you you need to log in before you can submit anything. So I think we should do that at first. So or I will go back. So either you need to log in if you already have an account or you need to sign up as a new user. So I am I already have a, an account, so I will just log in. But for everything else, you will be guided through um, the steps, of course. The best thing would be if you log in with your ORCID ID, but you can also use the username and password for it. You log in, and then you're able to submit data, and this button is active. If you want to have a look at all the um, templates and guidance and uh, help pages and everything, here are the, yeah, the most precious links that you might want to look at. There's a lot of guidance for the submission projects uh, pro process, for the best practices, how you should prepare your data, and also the templates for different kinds of uh, data are already linked here. So before you submit data, you should have a look again in this. So assuming you have all the metadata at hand and your uh, data table is ready, you can just click on Submit Data. And also here, you will be guided through everything that we would like to have from you. And the first of all, we want to have, of course, a title. So um, if we're taking the example that you just worked on in the, uh, the second table, the lower part, it was, for example, some temperature and pH data. So we can just write water temperature and pH. Um, and it was measured in a time frame from 2015 until 2019. And it wasn't written there, but it was actually from Bremerhaven in Germany. That's what the coordinates were saying. So this title should ideally, ideally reflect what was measured or observed or calculated. So this is what I put in the, in the first part. It should also describe when it was measured and where. And um, if it's, yeah. And in some cases, it's also very good to write how it was measured if you used uh, certain devices or really cool new methods or something like that. So this is what we advise on how this uh, title should look like. It should not be the paper title, but it should really describe the data. Since you're already logged in, you are also named as an author. So this is me. And you can also add more authors and just type in the last and uh, first names, the email address, and the aff affiliation. Um, yeah, you can decide on keywords that you would like to add to the data set. And you can, for example, if you start typing um, certain keyword, it also suggests you to um, for yeah, it suggests some keywords that are already in the database. So it would be good if you um, if you get suggestions to take one of those. Uh, that would uh, yeah, then we won't get any typos, and you can be sure that uh, the data data sets will be linked correctly. So we can no temperature is not uh, temperature is not good. We want temperature. So. We can take temperature or pH, for example. Then the next thing that is really important is that you need to describe your data. So it is the abstract in the in the data set. And here's also again the link to the help page, what is needed in the abstract, and what we would like to to see. This is basically a short version of a materials and methods section in a paper. So it's better to describe a bit more than to less so that people can really also look at your data, use your data, um, and understand your data. Then if you have an abstract, 
you can uh, choose a license. Um, the new normal one is the CC BY license, but there are also some li links to for you to have a look at if you need to choose another license for some reasons. So now we already have the basic information and you can click on the next button. Okay, I didn't put an author in, so I will just delete it. You can click on the next button and here you can add a reference. You can add references that about yeah, from papers that you um, mentioned in the abstract, for example, or you can add a reference to a paper that you're just writing where this data that you're submitting is the supplement to, for example, and you just um, type in all the information that is needed. Or if a reference is already there, you can just type in a, the DOI or the full reference. And the next would be to add some projects or grants that are uh, important for the data set. And here it is uh, the same if you start typing in um, the start of your project, you will get a suggestion for some projects that we already have in the database. And you can choose the one that you that you want to en uh, edit, that you want to enter, or you can of course uh, also give all the information uh, we ask for, so a name, the project website, and an award or grant title or a number, uh, if it is a new project that is not already in our list. You can also add more than one project, so everything that's important can be added here. And then most of the metadata is already there, and the next step would be to upload your files. If you have a small data files or the normal um, the tab delimited or comma delimited data that we ask for, you can just click on the add files and the explorer will open and you can upload a text file or you can upload the uh, CSV file, whatever you need and everything that's important can be uploaded here. If you have large data or a lot of data sets, you could also ask for for an upload link and you check this box here. And then you will get a link after um, the submission is, um, yeah, is, is ready. You will get a link and there you can upload all the files that you uh, need to upload. If you want to describe the data so it's easier for us editors to understand it, you can do that here. Um, Often it helps if you describe something that wasn't uh, stated before in any other of the fields. And then there's the last part. You can add any comment that you want. And here's also the time where you can require a moratorium. That was one of the questions earlier. So if you need a moratorium, you click on the on this tick bar and you can set the date until it should be under moratorium or in the end, um, you will be asked by the data editor before the data set is published and you can just communicate it in the, um, yeah, in the review process of the data set. You, of course, need to accept the terms of use and you click on it and then you're ready to submit your data. That's how easy it is to submit data to Pangea. So everything is uploading and you get the okay, the ticket was created, it was metadata upload, the data files are uploaded. And here is a link to the ticket, which is in our system, where all the communication will be done from now on. So all the data you entered is, is stored in here. For now it is unassigned and everything that comes afterwards will be uh, yeah, will be um, presented tomorrow. And here you will be writing comments and uh, the data editors will ask questions and everything is in this ticket. The data is not yet on the landing page or anything, it's not public. It's just that the data editors can work with your data. 